It's been tense in the last 72 hours with citizens in West Africa anxious about whether or not the sub-region could be plunged into chaos. The seventh coup in the last three years this time has not sat down well with the regional body ECOWAS, which threatened military intervention should the uranium-rich Niger not return to constitutional rule by Sunday, August 6th. A meeting by the chiefs of defense staff of member state of ECOWAS has agreed subsequently on a roadmap for the military intervention. But former executive director of the West African Network for Peace Building, WANEP, Emmanuel Bombandi, says ECOWAS has been deploying all tools to tackle the unprecedented security crisis in West Africa. He says the planned invasion of Niger by ECOWAS will not resolve the security crisis in that country. What you see happening that you are calling an inflection of a wound on itself is related to the lack of the political will for the type of reforms that would have updated these tools for deployment by ECOWAS. So we are using old tools to respond to unprecedented crises that we've never witnessed before. And that's the reason why it's not about inflicting a wound on ourselves in the context of Niger, but in a broader context. The deadline has elapsed, with Ajanta failing to heed to any of the directives of ECOWAS. The coup cool leaders have shut Niger's airspace while deploying their military across the country's border in wait of a possible attack. Dean of the Armed Forces Command and Staff College, an international relations expert, Professor Vladme Intridanto, believes an intervention, if any, would take at least six months to materialize. And now that we are not monolithic, it will be very difficult to order such an intervention when we don't have the troops. We have to get troop contributing countries to contribute. Then the mandate, formations, uh, lifting of uh, what we call it, contingencies. All these things will take not less than six months before we can intervene. So to say one week we are coming was unfortunate. Secondly, even if we did, the ramifications would have been worse. The leadership of ECOWAS are expected to on Thursday convene an extraordinary session in the wake of the elapse of their timeline to consider the eruptions which strongly include a military intervention. For security consultant Fester Zabwaji, a possible military intervention could have at least four possible outcomes. The first being a strong resilience from the military junta with the ECOWAS mission facing catastrophic failure. The second, a quick success for ECOWAS with the military junta removed quickly. A possible outcome according to the security expert is a standoff between both sides resulting in the casualties and losses over an extended period of time like currently being witnessed in the ongoing Ukraine-Russia war. Lastly, an initial victory for ECOWAS until the military junta resurfaces with resilience and both cases leading to massive losses. With all that though, the consensus continues to be won from experts. ECOWAS stays the gun and choose diplomacy.